Hey everybody, welcome to Big Dumb Monsters. I'm Nick. And I'm Chris. And we just got back from the movies. We saw Last Voyage of the Demeter, and we had a really good time watching that movie. Yeah, and absolutely. And then we had a really good time talking about that movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely go see it. Um, I don't want to spoil the movie, but if you if you care... It's going to get spoiled in this episode. Yeah, well, we give some spoilers. We don't give away, like, the meat and potatoes. Like, you know, there's there's, there's some... We give away the potatoes, not the meat, I'm going to say. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep your gravy. Yeah. Um, (laughs) (laughs) It's gross. Um, Anyway, so, brand new movie. We were really excited to go see it, and we were really excited to talk about it. Um, So, do the thing. Watch the movie. Listen to the episode. Enjoy it. Big Dumb Monsters. Great pain. Great pain. Yeah. So much pain. <laughs> My balls. Uh, what's up, everybody? It is Friday night. We're doing some weird stuff lately. Yeah. Yeah. Our schedule is all over the goddamn yard lately. But next yeah. week, we're, uh, we should be back to our normal uh, normal Saturday night show. Hank show. Yeah. 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 Theoretically. Yeah. yeah. Unless something weird happens. Don't, don't, don't tempt fate like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we had to run the, like, full gamut of tech problems before we actually got on the air tonight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no visual problems, but all audio. Yeah. Well, internet, too. We had to, we had, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We had to fight with the internet, yeah. then we had to fight with the audio. Yep. It's been, it's been a trip, but... I'm currently struggling with sobriety. Yeah. As you can yeah. see, something is winning. <laughs> uh, we have just come from the movie theater... We saw Last Voyage of the Demeter tonight. That is a mouthful of a title that I've been trying to like say all day because I've been talking. Like, you're like, oh, what are you doing after work? I'm going to go to the movies. What do you see? The Last Voyage of the Demeter? Yeah. yeah. The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Yeah. Like, That's supposed to be the Dracula movie. Like, yeah, if, you I, know? if I say it fast, I sound really, really dumb. <laughs> um,. We have literally not said a word about it since we left the theater. No. Um, first impressions, I really dug this movie, but they fucked the ending. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's my only like real fucking... Well, I have a, a slightly lesser gripe. It's not my gripe. only gripe. Yeah. It's my major gripe. A little bit too much CGI on Dracula. Way too much. Yeah, I could have used less CGI on Dracula. Um, the, the ending could have been improved by... 10 more seconds of screen time uh we'll get to that but we'll, we'll throw a spoiler warning out first if you don't well this is like trying to spoil rogue one like yeah. if you know the story of dracula like you you know like dracula's not gonna die in this movie y- you won't know the specifics of what happens in this movie you yeah. will you will understand the general plot yeah so spoiler warning this is a brand new movie if you haven't seen it yeah if you, you don't want to see you know don't want to have it spoiled Go take a walk. Or you if you want to elsewhere. Hey, whatever. If you wanna wanna hear our take on it before you see it, that's cool too. Yeah. Um, we'll try we won't like give away all you know, we'll give away the whole farm. You know we fucking are. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to trying <laughs> to doing? trying to reel the rubes back in. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Um but yeah, no, they could have fixed the ending. I like I, I kept hoping they were going to do what I like. I hope they were going to do because, like, once kill everyone. Well, yeah. Once Clemens, well, Clemens is the only survivor. Is the survivor, and like, I'm like, oh fuck, that he's gonna live. Like, god damn it. Oh, now he's a vampire hunter. And then, like, well, they show him in the pub. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Like, they still have a chance to redeem themselves. I'm like, yeah. Dracula could show up. 
Dracula shows up. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. I'm like, I'm becoming the Vince McMahon meme. Like, you know, like my <laughs> eyes are about to start glowing. Like, you yeah. know, like, uh, like a Dracula shows up. I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, he just needs to kill Clemens. That's all. It's a fucking bait and switch. Yeah. And then Clemens walks out and it's, it's a setup for the sequel. Like, you know, I yeah. am going to fucking end this, you know, evil. No, you're not. You're not. We know, we know who the does. story. Yeah. We know, we know, know the it. story. You were not in that story. <laughs> so like, he I, is really really not in that story so i was really just hoping like as they show him walking through the alley like you know we're following dracula like somehow dracula, dracula just gonna, to take him just pop up behind him and just you know and yeah. like that's the end of it would have been perfect that would have like that would have nailed the fucking ending yeah nailed it nope nope no. let him live no now we get vengeance sequel yeah like the whole Which sequel if- should just be like him sitting in a pub like monologuing to himself like that and then he dies. And then, then you just hear like, oh my god, did you guys hear about this Dracula guy? He's dead. And, what the fuck? Yeah. And then like, credits. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Art saw it with us too. I don't want to sell him short. He's uh, he's here as always with us. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, this is, you know, this is your moment. I, I give it to you. I, I The fifth I give you. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I said to Emily on the car ride home, my wife, I, I told her that I wish he had shown up in the bar, but instead of like looking for Dracula, he had just he didn't know that the ship actually landed. Yeah. Like and he was still wet from crawling on shore and everything. And he's just like, oh I need a drink or whatever. And then he heard the tapping and then he saw Dracula and then cut to credits. Yeah, because then like at then least you could have assume he dies. Yeah, you could have implied okay Dracula like, That's cool too. Or that even like that I was thinking me. that and then like one two like it cuts to the black and credits, you just hear like screaming and stuff. Yeah. So, like, you know, something's happening at least, like, right. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's. I mean, that's really my like major, major gripe. Yeah. Is the ending was dumb. I am in agreement with Art that, like, if you, I mean, even if they kept the timeline that they had. Yeah. Um. If you see Clemens and it focuses in on him, and then you just hear a bang. On the like the and like just have him look up like, and then just scared, cut. You know? Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be super good. But I don't need could, even then because like it could be any number. It could be the kid because you don't know the kid yeah. is fully dead. Like it could be fucking. It could be any number of the people yeah. you didn't like. I don't know. Like they just they either went too long or too short on the ending. Like they could have fixed it by either cutting or going just a few more seconds. Well, they needed to be more more ballsy. Really, they yeah. they needed. Just fucking kill everyone. Yeah. It's not hard. You had it. They had it. It up was so until close. the last like five seconds. It was yeah, so close. Uh like and don't get me wrong, we're griping hard, but I like I can speak for myself. I'm griping hard because I really liked this movie. It, yeah. <laughs> it did um, everything else amazingly, and then it just fucked us on the ending. I I have another gripe though. Alright. I did not like the fact that the design of Dracula would flip flop to whatever they needed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you got this like golem creature. I love it. Looks nasty, sick. Okay. Well, now you need him to be a little more active. So now he's got a little more muscle tone. Well, now we need him to fly. Now he's got wings. I was like justifying that as like he's been feeding, so he's getting stronger and like he will develop new things like that. Like he will fly again, like shit like that. True. But he wouldn't have been unfed for a long time before he started fucking True, everybody up. But like, the, as the girl explains it, like, she, you know, the Clemens asked her, like, why is he leaving? She's like, cause there's nobody left to eat. Like where, you know, in my village anymore. Like, yeah. So like, I, th- I honestly, like that explains why Dracula. Which is also not true. <laughs> Yeah, that is true, but it also, like, it would explain why Dracula is in the state that he is in in the beginning of the novel, where he's not, like, this young, handsome, like, all-powerful prince. He's an old, brittle old man who has powers, who is very powerful. Yeah. But he's not, like, you know, he's not at his peak. And I think it's probably because he hasn't been feeding as often. He's been, like, probably, you know, like, he's he's trying to, like, he can't kill everybody, you know? He has to leave some people alive. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I, I was rationing it away as that. Like okay, that explains why he's old and kind I, of like decrepit. Yeah, I guess so. But I, I don't know. For me, I thought it was more of a an aesthetic choice than 
anything to do with like reasoning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just where it felt for me. Um, but the design was pretty dope. Kind of had that like, um, oh, was it uh, Barlow from Salem's Lot? Yes, with like the teeth and like yeah. just the, like the kind of just bat like look to him like yeah yeah, yeah. I, I was getting I was getting pretty serious vibes from that. Um, but then you also have like a like a classic kind of Nosferatu uh, look to him, which is pretty good. Yeah, like, I I like that they didn't go just like you know a guy dressed like Gary Oldman or or something like that. Like I don't need a guy. In that movie, a monster works. I would have liked to have seen the guy in the bar at the end. Like, then he could have been the guy. Yeah. Because, you know, again, he's on land at that point. Like, he's fucking, he's had a chance to, like, kind of catch his breath. Yeah. You know, probably feed a little more. So then I would see, I could, then I could understand them, him being the guy I think at that point. They humanized his face a little bit more. Yeah. He didn't look as, as like, creature as he because he was wearing clothes. He has, like, the hat, you know. And yeah. So, like, yeah, he is. He does look a little bit more, you know, humanoid. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, I, I really, really did like this movie a lot. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna bitch about one more thing. All right. And then I'll probably bitch about more stuff later. Um, did you notice that the burn on the captain's head switched sides? Oh, I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah. It's probably like somebody flipped a negative and didn't realize. They... Well, they either didn't realize or they flipped it just for like the aesthetics of the the scene. Yeah, purpose. you know, like they're like oh, I really want him on that side of the the screen. Yeah, dude, it went from his right side, and then one scene it's on his left side. Yeah, and then it goes back to his right side. Motherfucker. Yeah, I didn't notice that. That irked the shit out of me. <sighs> And like that was a, this is another scene where they had the balls to do what they needed to do, the fucking scene where they're you know where they're having the funeral for the kid. Yeah, and that was brutal, man. It <laughs> really I was. Did not like expect that. Uh, I won't go into details, and we'll save that for you. But yeah, yeah, the scene where the the the, the funeral for the kid is is pretty intense. Yeah, and um, like yeah, there were some really, I, I, like I want to say brave, but the, I mean. Yeah, I guess they are like brave choices in the movie, like for what they do, who they do them to. Yeah. And the end results. It's kind of kind of badass. Yeah. Like, um But then they just at the at the most the most crucial one they needed to just be ballsy on. They couldn't. They pulled up on the stick at the last moment, man. Yeah. No, if they if they if they put like a some finality in that, yeah. it would have it would have brought it up some fucking points for me like yeah seriously would have yeah um all the camera work was fucking awesome though yeah I, everything I was like it. super tight and claustrophobic just yeah like that's the vibe they're going for you're stuck on a ship it really contributed to the rising tension throughout the movie too where yeah. it's just just slowly ratcheting up like the eeriness like the, the just the the tension between the crew members and everybody like yeah um it didn't have like thing level paranoia, but it, it was, was getting there. It was, like, it was on its way. Yeah, yeah. Because they weren't distrustful of each other. They just knew something was fucked up. The, yeah. Well, they did. I, I think what it was is like they didn't trust each other to do the right thing. Like yeah. nobody really knew what to do, but they knew that your idea sucks. You know, like. Yeah. Um, I will say the, uh, the first of all, the music, fucking in, awesome. Intense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, towards the end, there was one. I, I don't remember how it goes, but it's it it ties in very nicely with the Bram Stoker's Dracula music, which I forgot I was going to throw on while we we're uh, oh yeah uh, talking like just that like that intense like the boom boom like yeah my favorite my favorite moment of the music though was where they used it as a sound effect when um oh what the hell was his name the one that was um, stuck in the in the the ropes. On the mast. Oh, like oh, Oligan or something like that. Like Ogarin, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Romani guy. Yeah, when he's stuck up there and they they notice the blood dripping and then they just pan up and then it's there's that just violin squeal. Yeah. Fucking perfect. Um the some of the acting man was 
awesome too. Fucking David Desmalchin yeah. was awesome as like the uh, the you know the first mate. Like yeah, he was. Uh, I thought he was fucking awesome throughout the whole movie. Yeah, he looked so fucking familiar. And he I is couldn't... in a ton of shit. He's like, oh, that guy. Yeah. Um, the biggest movie he's probably in is The Dark Knight. He is the guy that the like the he's in the cop uniform. He's there to assassinate the mayor. Uh, oh, okay. like he's like the Joker henchman. He's got the fucking like scar, like the Joker. He reminded me of the guy that plays Doc Ock. All right, I could see that. Like, a, yeah, just younger like the, Alfred Molina. Yeah, just like the the kind of the shape of the face. Yeah, De- he, the nose was definitely less intense. Yeah, but. he was also Polka Dot Man in the Suicide Squad. Oh, really? Which is actually really fucking awesome. Yeah, I still haven't watched it. Probably, uh, I, I probably won't watch it either. I cannot recommend that movie enough. Like, if you're in for like one, you know, in the mood for a good, good, like. Just action movie, like crazy action movie. Yeah. That's it. You can't go wrong. Like James Gunn, again. Can't go wrong with James Gunn. We'll see. He's uh, he's going to fuck up something in DC. We know that. Like, Oh, yeah. yeah like the track record can't go on forever. No. But for now, enjoy the uh, the spot free. Uh, the, yeah. Spotless record. Yeah. I mean, um, he didn't let us down in Slither. So. Yeah. Uh, Liam Cunningham was awesome, too. Fucking A. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's another dude where you're like, oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just all oh, Clemens was awesome. Everybody was really good in this movie. Uh, who? I didn't like the girl. I, I that I could see that I could see. I'll, yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. She was just like, she's like super timid and then all of a sudden a mega badass yeah yeah she's ripley all of a sudden out of nowhere yeah don't do that also that accent was terrible <laughs> like it was really bad uh, i did like that she's like this girl from this village that's been terrorized by dracula i mean like, that's so, rad like yeah. it's, it's an awesome story that's element perfectly right out of like he took it, a he took a fucking you know tr- some trail mix on the road with him <laughs> <laughs> well i was gonna say it's right out of like a universal like original universal monsters movie like yeah you know, there's always like a village near the, whatever's going on like mm-hmm. i like that this starts off in this like port village in you know yeah. fucking romania like yeah it was cool yeah 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 all the all the non-boat stuff looked really good and then all the boat stuff looked awesome yeah like that that boat looked legit uh, there were a, a couple of the scenes too like where uh Wojciech, fucking david desmelchin is at, at the end there where he's up on the up on the mast and you first see dracula flying and he's just like you know the other guy's dead already and he's just there yeah. like hanging on you just see like you see him barely like fluttering through the mist every now and again like yeah whew, i thought that was an awesome scene like i, I loved that yeah it was really good um I can I can kind of suss out some like oh these guys watched this vampire thing they watched that vampire thing yeah like, did you get like serious like midnight mass vibes yes okay I specific <laughs> I no joke well the ending well with with the with Anna it's, yeah it, that's pretty much almost at without the like I have to convince you that I'm a vampire like yeah that's pretty much right out of midnight mass yeah yeah and even like the look of Dracula is kind of out of that too. Well, that that flying in the fog shit. Yeah, like that's yeah, that's that right out of the ass end of that show. Yeah, I mean, huh. if you if you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna fucking jack something, go high caliber. I yeah. Guess. Well, the weird thing I'm thinking about is like it's weird that this is a a it is a Universal Monsters movie where it's not like it doesn't borrow the universal monsters influence it's doing its own thing with it i think like its own like individual thing yeah the thing it is borrowing from is modern vampires though like yeah that is kind of weird yeah huh but i like it though it's 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 showing its influence uh from both sides of it so, yeah you know like yes we're inspired by this goddamn Hundred year old movie, yeah. Or, well, even not even the movie, but would, the the book, the hundred and like fifty year old book. Yeah, yeah. And then that gets brought into the the classic Universal's stuff, and then they're like, okay, well, those are awesome, but let's mix that with some new shit. Yeah, it's acknowledging like the the original Universal monster stuff and it's doing all that stuff incredibly well. Yeah. But it's showing like its influences in the later and later vampire yeah. stuff. Yeah. This is this is a movie where 
I'm actually satisfied with the little bit of monster we get. Yeah, no, it works. It's because again, it, it contributes to that tension, like throughout the you know throughout the movie, right? And and we're realistically, I mean, you know, as you know, m- monster fans, like yes, we're there for the monster, but in this instance, the story is more important than the monster. Yeah. And it just, it just, it, they worked it out really well. Like the ratio was really, really good. Yeah. Oh man, I, I really, I dug this movie. I really did. I did too. Yeah. Um, but I mean, realistically, it's not without its flaws. Realistic, sure. realistically, I, I'm not gonna rate it high. Like, really? I'm gonna rate it decent. I have, I, have, I think we're gonna be far apart on that. I'm we gonna probably go are high on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know. Are you ready to ready to throw down some numbers on this? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm at a. a, a mm, six and three quarters. All right, so we're not that far off. Enough, no, no, I'm not gonna go like it's a yeah. three. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's. That I went in. I went in hoping for like an eight, eight and a half. Though, but. All right. What are you gonna do? I will say. Yeah, I will say I was hoping for probably about that, about an eight. I am gonna give it a seven five. Mm-hmm. Where like it did it, it it's it's firing on all cylinders, man. I really really enjoyed this movie. It scratched some itches I didn't know I had. Yeah, yeah, I loved that. This is the other thing I was thinking about throughout the whole movie, where like this is so different than a modern horror movie, where everything in a modern horror movie is set to ten. Like yeah. you know the look of everything is you know bright and fucking neon and like ten and like the kills are crazy and everything is super gory and bloody and like. Just everything's in your face where this is just playing subtlety. It's playing like that building tension. Yeah. Um, and it, then when it needs to ramp up, it has room to go. Yeah. And it goes fucking hard when it goes too. Yeah. And um, then it drops back down. Yeah. And I I saw, you know, we mentioned this on our group text and I, I saw multiple reviews comparing it to like Hammer Horror. And like, I, I think it does yeah. deliver on that. Like I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, seven five for me, just because I think it nails just like the you know the look of everything. It's a fucking beautiful movie, the rising tension and just the like because you, you, again I think it plays the same thing with Rogue One. I think is at play in this movie. Whereas like, how do you spoil this? Where yeah. like you can't. You know the outcome of this movie, except. They do fuck with you. Yeah, they fuck with you by getting you to give a shit about the characters. Like, you, uh, you know, I as much as I do want Clemens like to live. At I the don't. same, I, at the same time, no, I know he has to die for this story to work. Right. Um, and that's why, like, I'm so disappointed that he does live, even though I want him to. It's even like it's the perfect parallel to the movie where they're first like explaining, like they're kind of encountering all the weird shit, and Clemens is trying to tell everybody like. Look, I forget what he's what he says specifically. Oh, they they're, they're trying to blame the girl. And Clemens is like yeah. she was in no state to do any of this. Right. He's like you can ask Wojciech. He's going to agree with me even you though he do. doesn't want to. Yeah. And it's that it's that same situation like yep. I have to agree even though I don't want to like Yeah. Yeah. I I Yeah, I I have very strong feelings toward the ending of, of this movie. Like he is a very likable character. Like you, you enjoy him on screen the entire fucking time he's on screen. Yeah, like he he's not like he, he's like one of these other guys, other guys like who's like a drunk or like a fucking you know yeah just you know just a general like filthy dude like yeah. scumbag guy like yeah the guy who would work on a ship in the fucking eighteen hundreds. Yep. Uh, but yeah, like for for everything to be wrapped up in a neat little package, he has he to has die. to die. Yeah. And that's the thing, though, is like, so you're saying, like, with Rogue One, you know where it goes after this. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way these people are, well, you know they're succeeding in their task, but they can't succeed in surviving the movie. Right. There's never going to be a Rogue, you know, one part two, because that's a new hope. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you get, you get the macro vision of all of it. Like, you know... At least, you know, 99% of the, the fucking guys have to die. Well, I guess you can make it work with one if he's just, like, out in the English countryside hunting 
vampires and never finds him, yeah. I suppose. Um, Again, hey, Dracula's dead. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> Credits. Yeah. <laughs> Van who? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it's it's the devil is in the details, I, I suppose. So you know the macro story. Well, here's how it got there. You know, which is why Rogue One works so fucking well. Yeah, you know exactly what's gonna fucking happen, but yeah, this is this is how how happens. Ooh, pardon me. I guess so. Um, one thing I was thinking as we were watching this, I would like to see a supercut of Bram Stoker's Dracula, and like once it gets to the point where they're leaving, like because I think there's like a montage at that point where we see like Jonathan like recuperating and like. Mina meets up with him and they're in like that church. Yeah. And like you see Dracula like on the ship a little bit, like where he's in the box, like just in the dirt. Like, right. Have that, like, have that intercede with like the story of the Demeter and like then just lop off the ending. Like, you know, find a way, like, yeah. Can you believe that Clemens guy died? And then just cut to, you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> and like get back to the, like, get back to this movie, you know? Yeah. I would like to see a giant, like, three and a half, like, hour movie like that. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I uh, I I can dig on that. I'm tr- I'm tr- trying to imagine like how much of Last Voyage do you put in it? How much of Bram Stoker's do you put in it? You you like I said, you definitely have to cut off the ending. Oh yeah, I think you would have to. You would have to find like things to intercede with the Demeter part of it. Like you can have a little bit, you know. Have the Jonathan and Mina scenes like there, like the, them traveling yeah, back could, to London. Yeah, you could definitely like jump cut some shit around. Yeah, you know, put some scenes from the Demeter in, you know, like some of this where he's talking about like I don't know his history or whatever. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. It could definitely work. <clears throat> it would. It would be a little weird. But I think it would work. It would, but I mean, like stylistically, they're not that far off. Like they, no, they both really look not. very similar. Like yeah. the the biggest difference is the look in the creature. But like again, in this movie, he changes his look so much. Yeah. Like yeah, okay, you can just kind of rationalize that away. Like yeah, I really, really wish they did more practical. Yeah. You know, like because that's another big gripe. I like, was aching for like real monster. Yeah. That is disappointment that they did use CGI as much as they did. Yeah. And they they did some practical stuff like all of the the you know the the makeup for the people that were injured and shit like that. Like and like uh you see Dracula's hand yeah. like moving around like that's practical. But well, a lot of the blood was CG. A little bit yeah, more on the creature effects would have yeah. gone a long way. It would have been fucking sweet. Um, so we've given you our ratings. Uh, yeah, we, there is no trivia for this movie. It's, yeah. it's brand goddamn new. It just came out yesterday. Yeah. Um, um, there's nothing. Yeah. We're, so we're going to jump right to the better known as, uh, oh, that's right. I know you, I knew, I knew you, I knew, I knew you, but you ain't you. We fought to have these goddamn sound effects in this show tonight. We're we going to use them. Yeah. 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 Trying to walk right past it. Like I'm not even over here. <laughs> Did you actually turn the, the speaker volume up a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Crank that motherfucker. Maybe not crank it. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit south of crank. Crank crank that soldier boy. Let's, uh, just test to see if that did a good job. A <laughs> L- little more, a little, little, little more, a yeah. little more. Well, goose it, goose it. Just give it a little... Uh... All right, that's good, that's, that's good. That should be fine. Um, we will start off with director Andre Ovredal. Uh, he's directed a couple of bangers. I'm going to say it. Um, he is working. Well, he, he directed the first scary stories to tell in the dark, which was a surprisingly fucking good movie. Would Guillermo just, uh, produce it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, really, really enjoyed that movie was actually like really kind of scary for like a PG 13 movie. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. PG 13 was really good movie. Really good. I recommend it. So he's, he's directing a sequel. Um, his last movie before this was Mortal. I don't really remember that. I'd... Looks like superhero or something. Mm. Ugh, guy has Viking powers. Good for him. <laughs> uh, that, that doesn't seem like an American release. Yeah. <laughs> Autopsy of Jane Doe. 
fucking dope. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say I was gonna ask if you had seen that. That is a fucking awesome horror movie. Yeah. Uh, another movie that does great with like the the increasing the tension and the creepiness. Yeah. Like throughout the movie. Yep. Um, if you haven't seen the autopsy of Jane Doe, highly highly recommend that. Yeah, that one. That'll that'll fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, another, I would say good movie, but kind of not really horror but, you know, monster movie for sure. Uh, Troll Hunter. I did enjoy that movie. I haven't seen it. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, cause I saw the cover and I saw the title and I went, that's cheesy. It, it's, it works. I will say. Yeah. It's like about this, like there's like these, these dudes are making a documentary about like, you know, the, like the, the folklore about trolls. Right. And like they hear this you know, about this guy who's like a troll hunter, and like they don't believe him, they don't believe they believe it's just all like fucking bunch of bullshit. Yeah. So like you know they agree to go out with him like on a patrol, and like while they're out on patrol, like no, this dude like really fucking fights these gigantic fucking like house sized fucking trolls. <laughs> um, he can turn them. They turn to stone under bright light. So like he just fucking like hits him with like a yeah. big like fucking flash, and they just poof, like turn to stone. Classic troll lore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it was a really good movie and it's, it's, it's all in like in Swedish, so it's subtitled. Uh, but I, I will recommend that one too. Yeah. Uh, we will next move on to Corey Hawkins who played Clemens in this. I think we might've talked about him recently. I don't know if I glossed uh, over him. Kong Skull Island. He, yeah, he was in that. He was, uh, what's his name? Houston. I think his name, Houston Brooks. Yeah. Uh, he was also in Straight Outta Compton. He was Dr. Dre in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the other so things. So we talked in. about him two weeks ago. Yeah. So we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah. Uh, he was in the tragedy of Macbeth. I will say I did enjoy that. Uh, that was the one with Denzel Washington. Uh, I didn't see it. I don't tend to watch like Shakespeare stuff. I don't know if it's just the, if that is like a retelling of Shakespeare. Yeah, or... it's like a straight up like fucking hard you know shakespeare like they're in costumes they're in you know oh really yeah yeah so yeah. It's, it's like a period piece yeah it's in black and white like they changed oh, wow. nothing. yeah yeah that's interesting yeah so I, that I, I might check out yeah i did enjoy it uh yeah it's my inner english nerd coming out like it's yeah. shakespeare it's fucking you know goddamn classic uh aisling franciosi uh, i believe is how i pronounce that uh <laughs> uh she was anna in this movie uh, aside from this, she's got some upcoming stuff. Rothko, uh, I'm assuming that's about the artist, uh, is Mark Rothko? I don't know. Uh, she was recently, uh, did a voice in four episodes of Legend of Vox Machina. Um, she was in the Black Narcissist miniseries on FX, three episodes of that. Uh, she was Leanna Stark in two episodes of Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, not our only Game of Thrones person in this movie. Uh, let's see. Stupid show all. That's really all of the stuff worth mentioning. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Liam Cunningham, uh, who was the captain in this movie. I forget his name. Uh, but whatever. Uh, captain Elliot, that was his name. Uh, he has a couple of upcoming projects. Uh, he, last year, two years ago at this point, Jesus, uh, was Man at Arms and the uh, newest uh, He Man and Masters of the Universe reboot? Yeah. Um, he, of course, uh, is most well known as uh, Sir Davos Seaworth uh, in Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has been uh, a voice in Solar Opposites on Hulu. Uh, he did a voice on Rick and Morty. Uh, 42 episodes of Game of Thrones altogether. Yeah. Um, That's such a great character. Yeah, because he was the one guy who wasn't, like, out to fuck anybody over or, like, just... He just wanted to, like, do a fucking good job with whatever he was doing and fucking, yeah. you know, earn respect for himself, basically. Yeah. And it all went to shit for him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no good deed goes unpunished, as yeah. they say. Yep, yeah, that's true. Uh, I think before that, there's really not much to uh, mention. He was in an episode of Doctor Who. Big whoop de fucking do <laughs> Oh, he was in Merlin. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I'm not familiar with gaming and whiskey, but they are twerking their eggplants at us. <laughs> That's <can>. Alex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thanks for stopping by, man. Hi, Alex. And thanks for uh, yeah, twerking at us. Twerking eggplants, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
let's see. Anything else worth mentioning? He was in Clash of the Titans in 2010, which, I don't know, wasn't great, but also wasn't horrible. Uh, I saw that at the drive-in. Uh, I like. I liked it. Yeah. I it was fine. I didn't care for the sequel. Yeah, no, that was definitely a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, but I'm a sucker for Greek mythology, so. It's, it's a well-done remake because you can't have one be as straight up cheesy as the original one was these days. Yeah. You just can't do it. <laughs> I watched the shit out of that movie when I was a kid. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Empire in 2008. Yeah. Dragon Emperor, excuse me. Uh, movie. That movie sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sugarcoat it. That movie sucked ass. <laughs> Uh, anything else worth mentioning? We are still scrolling. I don't. I don't think so. Probably not. I, I got. I got to give him his due. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. He's in First Night, in 1995, with uh, Sean Connery and Richard Gere. There oh, you go. Yeah, that was worth mentioning. It's uh, yeah, just kind of a wet wine mom movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen that movie, but it's literally a romance novel. It's a good movie, and like it's very well made. It's a uh, steamy tale of King Arthur. Fucking steamy, yeah, (laughs) steamy as fuck, (laughs) buddy. Uh, Up next is David Das Melchian, who I I think was so awesome in this fucking movie. Yeah, he was great. That's a Uh, fucking name he's got, though. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. He's got something upcoming. Girls will be girls 2012. All That's right. odd. Uh, he was just in Oppenheimer in 2023. He's been in Was episode. everybody in Oppenheimer? I mean, I'm... it's a three hour movie. There's opportunity for everybody to be in Oppenheimer. Pretty sure I'm in like at least two scenes. Uh, he was in an episode of Miracle Workers. Uh, he was in the Boogeyman recently, also, which was an, an okay movie. Uh, he was pretty good in it, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, Batman: The Doom That Came to Gotham. Have you watched that? So sick. Is it? Yeah, right, I gotta watch that. Yeah, it's. Fun. It is like a uh, Lovecraftian Batman. Story. It is a hundred percent Lovecraft. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and they like they switch the characters around, so like, you know, like the Penguin is in it. Uh, you know, a kind of Mr. Freeze character is in it, but like they're not their normal. It's set like in the 30s or something, isn't it? Or like, yeah, okay. Um, but oh, it's so good. Like, I, I really don't want to talk about it too much because it, like, it, you just got to watch it. Oh, yeah, right. and just let it unfold. Yeah. Thor says hi. Oh, what's going on, man? Hi, Thor. Uh, he was in, he's been in all the Ant Man movies, actually. I, uh, he was only a voice in the newest one, but he was, uh, one of, uh, Scott Lang's cronies in the uh, first two. Yeah. A uh, character he's played in the What If cartoon also. Uh, he was in Dune 2021, which I am hyped for the sequel for that. Yeah. yeah. I am too. That was, that was a really good movie. It was it was ridiculously good. Also, pretty fucking long. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, the... At that point, though, that was like the height of quarantine. I, need, I needed it. Yeah, like, yeah. When that came out, I yeah. could do a three-hour movie at that point. <laughs> yeah, but I like do, I could do a six-hour movie at that point. But that's the kidding. thing is, you can't take the source material of Dune and just chop it into a fucking hour and a half long movie. Like you just can't. Yeah, you, like you'll you'll do it. As David disservice. Lynch proved to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, I mentioned he was in the Suicide Squad, which I, I cannot give that movie enough good praise because I really do enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, he was the calendar man in Batman Long Halloween Part 1 and 2. That also didn't translate that well. No. Fucking one of the best Batman stories ever written and just did not did not come out well on, it's, on screen. It's Yeah, it's probably like number one for me. Yeah. You know, a lot of people go hush, but hush is good, but that, yeah, that's predictable. Like the, yeah, that's like the flashy, like, you know, answer. Yeah. Long Halloween is just that is a masterpiece of, of like writing and art. Like well, that's the thing. The Long Halloween is a is a Batman fan's Batman. Yeah. Like, it's a detective story. Yeah. Yeah. Um man, yeah, that might be up there for me. I can't think of one I like better than that. It's t- I mean the Dark Knight is S tier fucking Batman also. That's probably number two. Yeah. That's probably that's definitely number two. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was in a couple episodes of The Flash. 
Uh, he was in Jane Silent Bob Reboot 2019. Uh, I never saw Bird Box. So that was like where that another like everybody was just watching that at the same time. Oh, was that that um... Sandra Bullock? Yeah, I didn't yeah. watch that either. Yeah, I never watched it. Yeah, not. It's not supposed to be me. a horror movie, but it's not not my horror movie. It's not. It's not mine. It's not for me. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ant Man and the Wasp shows up. He was in Blade Runner. Blade Runner, twenty forty nine. I, I want to like that movie. I can't. I watched a little bit of it the other day. It was on TV. Uh, and like, uh, there's some cool shit in it, but like as a whole, yeah. No, like, no. Yeah. I get that. I get that. Uh, he was in two episodes of Gotham. Uh, he was in the Belco Experiment in 2016. That's a pretty fucking good movie, a good horror movie. Mm. Uh, did you see that? No, that's the Office one where they're like, yeah. killing each other, right? Well, maybe I saw that. It's basically mayhem without like the comedy aspect of it. Mayhem is the one with what's his name, Stephen Young, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I I mix those two up a lot. Yeah, they're they're very similar movies. Yeah. Uh, Mayhem was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was in the Twelve Monkeys TV series. Uh, what else? CSI Cyber, Angry Video Game Nerd, the movie. CSI uh, original flavor. Uh, he was in the sci-fi version of Almost Human, twenty fourteen. Yeah. Uh, Ray Donovan. I still have not seen any Ray Donovan. Uh, I watched the first couple seasons. It was all right. Fucking garbage it's TV, like just it, something to be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are in. Oh, yeah. His second role ever was in The Dark Knight. That was two thousand eight. That's a hell of a second role. Yeah, that is a huge second role because he's like a key part of that movie. Yeah. Uh, all right. Moving on. Chris Wally. Uh, he was oh that one dude with like the beard and the long hair. Well, he was the one that played the violin. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, was his fucking name yawning so much. It, it, I've been yeah. up since like 5.30 this morning. Ooh, yikes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He played Abrams in this. Um, before that, his most notable role, he was in 1917. Uh, in 2019, actually. Uh, that was a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. uh, also, long as fuck. Yeah. Well, it's hard to do like a war epic and have it be short. Yeah. Like, it just... It fits to to make it long as shit. Uh, John John Briones, he played the cook in this. Guy uh, kind of, character kind of a piece of shit. He fucking split out on everybody. Like I can understand trying to save his piece own hide. Piece of high. shit. Yeah, you're smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna fault him on that, I guess. Uh, let's like, see. Coward. I'll give you a coward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he was in, it looks like the second season of Star Trek Picard, the one that killed that show for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was also in Ratchet in 2020. I think I got through the first episode of that show and... I just wasn't interested. Yeah. I, I can't do Ryan Murphy anymore. I, I just, I can't. <laughs> uh, just done? Yeah. Just like, done. I, I just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I gave up an American Horror Story, American Horror Stories... They all suck. You know when I gave up on that? About uh, halfway through the first season. <laughs> uh, it's wine mom horror to, to call it's, back to an earlier. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It shows up in Bones. Law and Order LA. Hey, Monk. Monk. Yeah. So oh, Sons of Anarchy. It was Asian Elvis in an episode of that. Uh, his first. I bet you I can remember that episode too because there was one where Bobby goes to an Elvis convention yeah it's gotta be that one BT dubs <laughs> wearing my Elvis karate shirt <laughs> nice uh, moving on Stefan Kapichik Kap Kap yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was what's his name Oligan Olgerin that's it uh, he is most well known as the voice of Colossus in the Deadpool movies no shit yeah um, he is in the upcoming third one, of course. Um, aside from that, he's done some video you, game voice work. Did you see that first credit? 
Oh, Slaughter House? Yeah. I forgot to mention that. That's uh, that's that's a real thing that's coming out. Yeah, it is I... a horror movie where a sloth is the killer. Like yeah. A, like a sorority like girl sloth, I think. I'm fucking excited. <laughs> I love sloths. I, I did see that. I meant to mention I meant to mention it, and I totally forgot as I went through Yeah, this. like Crackoon is coming out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is my cup of tea right here. Yeah. Stupid animals. It's like zombievers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, which uh, the episode uh, both Alex and both Alex and Thor are just Thor. I don't <laughs> Alex to talk about a slow burn horror <laughs> slaughterhouse. <laughs> <laughs> but <Ba-dun. laughs> oh man, you got it. damn it! Uh, Zombievers was Alex and Thor because Alex picked it. I think you're right. Yeah. No, that was Velocipaster. It was just Thor. Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, let's see. Uh, shows up in Love, Death, and Robots, I, which I hear was cool. I never watched it, though. I, you know what? The first season was amazing. I could not get into a second season. Yeah. And I wanted it so bad. Like, after the first season was done, I couldn't wait for season two. I couldn't give a fuck after I watched, like, two episodes. <laughs> I get that. Uh, what show? That I, like, Doom Patrol. I was so into the first season of Doom Patrol. Thought it was great. Yeah. Got halfway through the set of the, the first episode of the second season. I was just like, I'm done. Fuck it. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I don't ever need to come back to this. Yep. I feel uh, that. Yeah. Uh, up next, we have Nikolai Nikolaev. Uh, I forget his That's name. That's a fucking name. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, Petrovsky. That's right. Um, he was in four episodes of Stranger Things. He was Ivan. It's the guy that, uh, David Harbour is locked up with in the Russian prison. Yeah. Uh, he also shows up in Love, Death, and Robots. Uh, also does a voice in Call of Duty. Uh, that was in 2021, Call of Duty Vanguard. Sorry, the, uh, Brides scene is on, uh, the TV. Oh, thank you for alerting me to that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, a naked Monica Bellucci is, uh. Yeah, this, uh. This is a scene I, I very much admired as a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a reason I had this on tape uh, when I was a teenager. <laughs> Why is this one part of the tape worn out? <laughs> yeah. So, fix the tracking. It's got to be the tracking. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Javier Botet. He played Dracula in this movie. He seems to be a, uh, a creature actor uh, in, in a couple of things. Um, of recent note, a lot of Spanish stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Y- yeah. Jesus See Christ, all. Yeah. Fuck you, IMDB. <laughs> uh, he was in both of the It movies, uh, part one and part two. He played a hobo, also played the witch. Uh, he plays a lot of female, like, creature characters I noticed in this. You know, uh, I don't, I don't think I ever watched It. Chapter two. Those were pretty good. I, I enjoyed those. Yeah, I mean, it was the part one was fine, but I didn't care. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I to this day have never read a Stephen King book. Really, not a single. That I, actually shocks me. I got. I I started reading it, and I just put it down and just never picked it up. Not because I didn't like it. Yeah. I just you know, I um, got lost in the shuffle. I loved Pet Cemetery. Yeah. And uh, absolutely fucking adored all the Dark Tower stuff. All right. But, I mean, if you like horror, sci-fi, Western fantasy books, then that's your thing. I think it's, I think <laughs> I've just murdered my attention span to the point of, like, I just can't read an entire book anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have, I legitimately have trouble reading books. Yeah. These days. Yeah. And... I will listen to like audio drama podcasts at work all fucking day. If you put on an audio book, I, I lose it in like twenty minutes. Yeah, I can listen to podcasts like you said all goddamn day. The second I'm listening to a narrative story, I have to like sit there and like I you know intently listen, and I can't do that. Like yeah, yeah it's it's weird. I don't yeah. know why. I don't know. That's I think that's why I like audio dramas so much is because. You're actually getting a dialogue. Like, there's multiple actors. There's, you know, different sound effects and shit like that. Like, there's something more than just a person talking. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. It fucking bums me out, dude. Although I will say, during quarantine, I listened to the Star Wars radio drama. Yeah, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, because they had a lot of like the voice actors from the original fucking you know the movie in it. Like it was pretty cool. Um, that was a BBC thing, right? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see. He was also in Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Also in Game of Thrones. Played a white in that. Uh, again, another like creature, like CGI acting. Uh, Star Trek Discovery. He was in an episode of. He played Baul. That sounds Klingon as fuck. Sure does. Yeah, uh, probably a Klingon. I'm gonna say. Uh, he was in the Slender Man movie in 2018. I, I can't watch meme horror movies. No, like, no, I'm good on that. Yeah, are uh, they gonna make a, like a fucking Siren Head movie next? Yeah, I guarantee you that's probably in the works. Like, yeah, uh, Insidious: The Last Key, 2018. No, thank you. Yeah, I did not. I got like halfway through the first movie. And I'm like, ah, I just don't. I liked. <sighs> I liked most of the. I will. I will say it every fucking time this movie comes up. It was great until you see everything. Yeah. Like, that movie had such great, like, setup and scares, and then they ruin the whole fucking thing by showing the the demon character, and then you go into this, like, fucking stupid world. Like, they, they just wrecked the whole fucking thing. Like, that came out, I want to say, is the same time as, like, Conjuring. And like Conjuring was such a better like uh, came out before Conjuring that was oh, coming really? out that came out around the time of like Sinister. Oh, that uh, that one that's another one I get it confused for. And yeah. I like Sinister way better. Oh than yeah, that. Sinister's yeah. fucking. Way I wish better. they'd make another one of those, man. That I think I would there's love to... two or three of those, right? There's two. Is there two? Yeah. Uh, let's see. He was in the Shit Mummy. Uh, in 2017 <laughs> i don't think i've seen that one. Oh, we have the we, shit mummy yeah because we watched it on the show with town uh, uh yeah i know i've seen the <laughs> mummy uh he was also in alien coming uh, coming in wow that's the porno uh. <laughs> alien coming in only at your uh, local triple x uh video store behind them swinging door <laughs> saloons <laughs> uh, swinging saloon doors jesus christ we're tired and we've been drinking yeah for real <sighs> the cummy and alien coming in. Anyway, <laughs> he was a xenomorph in that. Uh, Christ. He was in The Conjuring too. Speaking of The Conjuring, he was The Crooked Man, which I think they're doing a movie on The Crooked Man. I hate it. They need to stop making those Conjuring movies. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Yeah. We saw the preview for The Nun uh, when before. The yeah, Nun, the nun 2. 2 yeah. Before. Yeah. I, I, I keep forgetting that they've made a, a really made one of those Nun. They all blend yeah. together. They do. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm good. The Conjuring one was great. And the, the, the absolute best of that series. Yeah. Um, all the rest of them are just shit. Like, I don't know what was up with Conjuring too. Like James Wan just like decided he wanted to do something completely different, I guess. He was probably busy making Aquaman at that point. Like, let me shit out of the subpar horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Uh, let's see. He, this is not the, the Revenant, the Revenant, was it? No. No, because that was way before it. No, it was. Oh, whoa. That was 2015? That doesn't. That seems like it was way, way, like, older than that. It's like, the Revenant came out, like, three years ago. <laughs> no, I was just saying, that movie came out, like, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. No, that was fucking 2015. Shit. Uh, he was also in Crimson Peak as Enola, Margaret, and Pamela. Yep. Uh, they were the ghosts. He's in most of these wreck movies, which I think I watched the first one, and that was more than enough. I haven't seen any of them. Um, he was in an episode of The Strain. It's uncredited, so I'm going to go ahead and guess he's probably one of the vampires, the, uh, the Strigoi. Yeah. Uh, witching and bitching. I don't know what that is, but that was 2013. <laughs> uh, oh, these are all Spanish. All Spanish. Wreck three. Which, like, what was that? Where did they make the wreck movies? Was I that think the f- Mexico or actual is fucking Spain? I think it was Spain. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's, a, yeah, from Spain. Uh, I think that's really right. all the stuff of note. Uh, last up, Christopher York. 
Uh, he was Fletcher in this movie. He's currently a couple of voices in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I don't... I, th- I think if I bought and installed that and tried to play it, my computer would take a shit. <laughs> Apparently, you can design your character's dongs and fucking... Uh, I don't know if it's a mod or what, but... Ah, uh, that's probably a mod. Yeah, I mean, I saw... Like you, have, a, you have dong capabilities in Cyberpunk, so... That's true. That is true. That's, it's a completely different fucking animal, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, currently a voice in Final Fantasy XVI. Uh, was in three episodes of Andor last year, which was fucking great. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is one of my favorite Star Wars things. Um, aside from that, that's really all worth mentioning. I just wanted to mention Andor. Yeah. Uh, and that is it for the better known as. Oh, shit. Moving on to the crapshoot. Oh, this is the scene where Lucy's getting railed by Dracula. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Again, fix the tracking on the the <laughs> tape. I don't know why. I don't know if you saw the the or you missed the uh, the flash scene where they kiss each other in the in the rain. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was a good one too. <laughs> We're pigs. Yeah. Uh, anything uh, going on in chat? Uh, we should. Uh... Uh, I referred to this as the last voyage of the meat beater, <laughs> <laughs> in reference to the. Uh, the wife scene in the castle <laughs> and now it's uh, relevant again yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no but that's about it um although there is a party of 11 raiding us right now holy shit oh nice cali boo plays whatever uh, uh, awesome i don't know who that is but thank you so much we appreciate that yeah welcome 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 everybody um this is our first raid no no we got raided earlier no alex by... alex and thor raided us yeah. oh no shit thanks that's, guys that's how they got us Hell yeah. Um, yeah, we're on to the crapshoot. It's just the section of the show where we talk about Talk about what we whatever. want to talk about. So we're, we're, technically, we're, we're going to talk about Dr- Dracula right now because we're watching it. Yeah. I got, got stuff a little monster about. monster sex scene. It's just, you know. And that's just like a, like, that is a fucking. monster fucking sex scene. No, no, like, it's a, an actual it's a monster goddamn fucking. Monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when all those 11 people are like what are we watching like, what the f- <laughs> why um one thing i will shout out man that i i fucking i mentioned in the group text this morning i listened to the new hives album today the death of randy fitzsimmons yeah fucking oral magic uh oral you say a-u-r-a-l <laughs> um i they are I don't have a favorite anything. I like I have favorites. I can't nail a single like, you know, favorite of any one thing. Yeah. They are one of my favorite bands. Um and like one of the like not really gripe I will say about them is like as they've gotten older, their music is getting less like raw and more produced. It doesn't sure. have that same energy they had when they were younger. Yep. Um, this album has fucking some of that energy back. Like really? there's a lot of like songs on here that sound like classic punk songs. There's, um, there's just one song that sounds like a fucking Queens of the Stone Age song oh, weird. Uh, to me. Yeah. Yeah. There's one, uh, I got a little Pat Benatar on. Um, well, I mean the hives are pretty fucking all over the place to begin with. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, they're just like a garage rock band, yeah. but like on steroids. Yeah. Uh, but I was I I was thoroughly impressed. It it just has a little bit more of that raw sound and like not in like a you know we're regressing we're gonna give you more of the same no like it has some of those elements of like you know them evolving over the years yeah but it just like that that crunchy fucking sound and just like yeah oh it just it was so good like I I gotta tell you like um there's a band called Baroness yeah and they've been putting out a couple of new singles uh, their upcoming albums hopefully very soon um but for a long time like their production values got better and better and better and better yeah um and everything always sounded great but like their their last couple albums like everything is so densely layered that nothing has room to breathe that's what kind of like the hives like yeah yeah, like they've gone from like like you said that garage rock of just like you know fucking distorted amps and just fucking over you know fucking like crunchy guitars you know yeah to 
like you said, there's just so much production and so much layering and like so much going on. It's just yeah. it's so far from you where they started. You yeah. can't pick anything apart. Well, the the new Baroness songs, they cut out a lot of the extra guitar tracks. Uh, everything's got, like spaced out. It's wide. Yeah, but like you can pick out the pieces of it. It's fucking. Mwah. So good. Ugh. Mutoid Man's got a new album out. I haven't heard that. I've heard uh, a couple singles. Oh, fucking Mutoid Man is awesome. I got to check. Like, when I was listening to this album today, I'm like, this is the first time I have been excited about music in years. Like, I just, I haven't, nothing fucking scratches that itch anymore, you know? Yeah. Uh, and listening to this album was oh, so good. 31 minutes, man. In and out. Yeah. Fucking just kicks ass for the entire time. That's That's like the new Rancid album. Like, it. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you if I had a favorite song on it, but like the album was dope and it lasted about twenty seven minutes, so yeah. it's it's in, says what it says, it gets out. Yeah, you know. Um, what it's else really is all going you need on? in a punk album? Yeah, I uh, just finished. Well, a couple days ago, I finished uh, Twisted Metal. It's I, so fucking fun. Yeah, I really hope they do a second season of that yes. show yes uh that was so much fun well they set it up perfectly too because like oh now we're gonna have a tournament and yeah they, now we're gonna bring the, the pictures game. yeah like yeah 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 um it was it, it, it gave you the backstory of all the characters who were going to be involved in like the game that you remember basically yeah. like, from the, in the original video but there games. were a couple like in the in the pictures that they they weren't in the show yeah. Which is totally fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. You can give, give that to me in, se in season two. Yeah, expand the world, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Fucking awesome, like, car sequences. Awesome. Like, the, I love the fact that they saved, like, that big, huge, just car battle for the last, like, episode and a half. Yeah. Like, that was awesome. That felt like the game. Yeah. And in a good way, too. Not, yeah. like, in a cheesy, like, obligatory. Yep. Like, in most, like, video game projects, like, you, they, they're, they're shoehorning in, like, you know references to the game where this it was like natural. It felt na yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it felt natural yeah. for everything to just kind of a lot of like demolition man vibes in that shit too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I fucking thought Will Arnett was great as Sweet Tooth. Yeah. Um, I love that they worked in the flaming head Sweet Tooth at the end too, like from the video uh, games. Yeah, that that was a little shoehorn. That was over the top. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, that was over the top. But I mean, like, I it kind of plays in. I think well like the story of the game was that like like at one point he dies and comes back and that's why he has that flaming like ghost writer yeah head. yeah so i'm like maybe that's where they're going with it because you know they do give you the the off-screen death that you don't see which means he's still alive yeah 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 yep uh let's see what else oh i watched um i watched braveheart the other night while i was going to bed that's still one of my favorite movies ever yeah yeah, yeah, that's a movie I can never watch. It's so completely historically inaccurate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I can never watch that movie intentionally. I can never, like, put it on. I always have to, like, I always, I just keep finding it. Like, it'll come on after something I'm watching. I'm like, well, I'm going to watch this now. Like, really? No, yeah. I'll throw it on whenever. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to, like, when I was in a band, I used to watch it before every live show that we ever did. Oh, Just really? Get, yeah, because I would get fucking amped up. <laughs> Urgh, it's time to go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I started watching. I watched most of The Void again the other night. All right. That, that, that was so a good movie. Good. Yeah. It's so good. I don't think I've seen that since it first came out. I did not realize that Rold from uh, Letterkenny is in it. All right. I don't know if you watched Larry Kenny. I watched like the first couple episodes. I dug it and then just I never like kept watching it. Okay, so the guy that um the guy that they bring into the hospital is one of the skids from Letter Kenny. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh I know I've watched more stuff. I've been I'm caught up. Yeah, I will say one thing I, I a show that I really love that like I just I have to gripe about something. Go ahead. I, I don't know if you're caught up on, on Strange New Worlds. No, I'm not. Musical episode? Yep. Yeah. My buddy at work was telling me like it was fucking awesome. Mm. <laughs> I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would, but it was also like when I sat down to watch it, it was like the end of the it's day. Not what you wanted, right? Yeah, I'm like, I just want to relax. I want to watch a fucking awesome episode of like Strange New Worlds. Yeah. And then like, wait a minute, are they are they fucking singing? 
Like, but like, <laughs> according to my my buddy at work, he said there's like a legitimate reason why they do it, other than to just cram in a musical episode. There, there, there's some cramming going on. There, little, there's some cramming. A little cramming. Oh, we found this rift in space that when we shot energy at it, oh no, we all are singing now. Like, yeah. Uh, what are you gonna do? You know what I realized? Yeah. Tonight is our third vampire movie in a fucking month. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we we had like a a theme month going on. We are vampire. Our the second fuck out. in a row, and second. I think it's the first time we've ever done the same character two weeks in a row. Yeah, uh, we did Dracula last week. We, we did, did a Drac- double feature or something, didn't we? Vincent Price, but that's oh, the same that's character. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I think yeah, it is the same character. Even in Del Toro month, we only did Hellboy once. Yeah, and, which uh, we'll get to the first Hellboy. It's so good. Yeah, I I keep almost watching the David Harbor one because I love the character so much. I want to. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Check it out to give it its due diligence. I just don't get your hopes up. No. I yeah. Won't. It's, yeah. They're already pretty fucking low. Yeah. I do love the uh, Hellboy animated movies, though. I still haven't watched any of those. Oh, they're good. I like with the it's David the original, Harbor one. It's all the original voice cast, too. I felt like every time I was like getting, like building up momentum to getting into it, like. I just like oh it no would just flop. Yeah, like oh okay, okay, oh no, no, uh, no. Yeah. No. So yeah, I don't know. Don't do they follow like an established comic storyline in that or are they just kinda doing their own thing? I don't remember. It's the Blood Queen in like any of the uh I think that's her name. It Blood doesn't Queen. Mila doesn't, Jovovich. Doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I got I got current on Hellboy in like fucking 2018 maybe oh really 2017 i own wait no let me keep going back because it's definitely back further than that uh our when did we live together <laughs> that's not since like 2014 yeah 2013. so 13 so about there so like three years ago right it's three in years our, in ago, our time? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i had that conversation again this week with somebody like oh yeah 2005 that was like Four or five years ago? Like, yeah. 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 No, no, sure wasn't. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? What else? Um, I haven't really watched any like monster y stuff, any horror stuff. Did you what, f- wind up watching Shin Kamen Rider? Fuck, I keep forgetting about that. You no. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, it's the most weird ass shit you'll ever fucking mostly enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i gotta watch that uh i know i've watched something else like it's just right there and i can't remember you probably have yeah I cloud know. through twisted metal i don't know anybody watching you guys watch any fucking awesome horror movies or monster movies or anything like yeah, anybody watch some good shit out there i feel like i watched a horror movie too and i also can't remember i mean i'm constantly watching horror movies but like none of them stick around yeah yeah. I don't, I don't know. Mm. The, I think the thing is, like, streaming, there are very few streaming services that have really good horror selections. Yeah. And I and Tubi always delivers, but... Tubi just, is, like... I just don't want commercials most of the time. That, but it's, also, And like, it's so petty. Yeah, Tubi is, like, it's a very, like, specific, like, horror niche. Like, it's, like... Cheesy oh, '80s '90s horror. I feel like is the place to go for Tubi, which isn't bad, which is fucking yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's 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 the role they fill. Yeah, but if you're not in the mood for that, you're kind of fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and Shutter's selection went to shit. And it was so I hard. haven't even looked at Shutter in the longest time. I have. I have unsubscribed. Really? Yeah. Well, but Joe Bob's it, over with. Yeah. Because I wasn't, I wasn't watching. It. Yeah, I was watching for Joe Bob, and then I realized like, oh, they split the season in half instead of doing. A full fucking season. And then I was pissed about that because I had already fucking canceled my subscription. <laughs> but I, there was like nothing good on on Shutter like that I hadn't watched already. So it was really starting to piss me off. Yeah, this, it was the same with AMC Plus. Uh, See, I have AMC Plus. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, like, why do I have it? I mean, there's some. Well, I I got it 
because it was tied in with Shutter. So if you got AMC Plus, then you got Shutter. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, it's the same price. Why not just get two streaming services? Um, this is like I'm going to give away a like multi million dollar idea right now. Make an app where all my subscriptions are there, and I can just individually like, oh, this month I want to be, you know, want to turn it off. Click one button. It's yeah. off for that month. Like, yeah, you know, somebody make that, please. Yeah, that'd be fucking sweet. <laughs> I feel like those exist where you manage your subscriptions all in one place. Probably. I'm. I'm not I don't. I don't know speed. if there's something that does that. I know there's things that will like search the internet and find what you're subscribed to. Yeah. Yeah, but then you and also then you can give just it your cancel. You can cancel and rejoin and stuff, right? Probably. I don't know if there's like cancel and rejoin, but I know there's like make sure that you're unsubscribed to this shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, just like one like you you know interface that has everything, and you can just at will like click it on, click it off. That'd like, be dope. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think that's about it for this week. I think we're that's, we're that's probably out. it. I'm fucking exhausted. It has been a week. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. I have to get up early and fucking get on the road tomorrow. Yeah, it's fucking. All this week, I'm like, we're leaving. We're going to be on the road at 7 a.m. My fucking ass isn't getting up till at least 7 a.m. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> we going to go do the thing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> As he looks at the clock. <laughs> Can I get the um, the correct fuck you? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's a good call. Correct, but fuck you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we are. Yep, yep. All right. Well, I can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but no, if uh, everybody in the raids who showed up, thank you everybody for tuning in. Yeah, we, everybody who stuck around. Uh-huh. Um, if you like what you saw, subscribe. You, Come back next week. We usually do this on Friday, uh, Saturday nights. Excuse Saturday me. nights. Uh, you're actually at the ass end of the show where we just kind of talk general shit we we specifically talk about a movie every every week yeah um what are we doing next week uh alien resurrection yeah yes Woo. well we have that or we could because that was going to be on the schedule for this week this is also you this is bonus material folks uh bonus. we were not going to do a show this week but we ended up uh kind of spur of the moment deciding to go see uh voyage of the demeter yeah, which was awesome, uh, by the way. Just seriously, go watch it. Yeah, but on the schedule for next week is The Exorcist. So we can do that, or we can we can just stick to the, the, the order and do Alien. I'm good with either one. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with Alien. By the way, how fucking sick was that Exorcist trailer? Yes, I, that does look really good. Yeah. I do want to see that. Unfortunately, I'm hearing that it's going to be a two-part movie. <laughs> yeah, what I, 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 I noted this to you once I noticed it. I didn't notice it the first time I watched that trailer. It's David Gordon Green. Who famously fucked up Halloween? Those last two Halloween yeah. movies, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The first one was good, and then those last two, the Halloween ends they and Halloween kills, were they could have done all that in one movie. <sighs> they could have just killed them right at the end of Halloween. Yeah, and we would have been done with it, and we would have been happy, and we would have been like, "What an awesome Halloween movie!" And like, it's just like a r- r- really great way to tie it all up, you yeah, know, but- put a bow on it. Oh. <laughs> Nah, sons of bitches. But anyway, thank you guys for coming. If you're if you're new, uh, we hope to see you again next week. Yeah, uh, where we drink, talk about monsters, have fun. Yeah, it's all yeah. there is. Uh, but we're gonna uh, well, we're gonna do the socials first. We're gonna leave you with our socials. Yeah. Uh, our website is www.bigdumbmonsterspodcast.com. If you are too lazy for that, www.bigdumbmonsters.com will bring you to the same website. Um, we are on Facebook, uh, Big Dumb Monsters Pod. If you have beer suggestions, movie suggestions, uh, content suggestions, criticisms, we'll take those too. Uh, email us, bigdumbmonsters at gmail.com. Uh, we are on Slasher, the all horror social network. Uh, I believe it has an official desktop website now. I still gotta go check that is, out. Is, uh, mostly just a mobile app though. It's, uh, great way to connect with other horror fans like there's tons of great people on there uh we're big dumb monsters podcast and sometimes we are on steam uh big dumb monsters uh you can find us on instagram and threads at big underscore dumb underscore monsters 
Um, we are on YouTube at Big Dumb Monsters. Uh, again, if you're new, come check us out there. Subscribe. Check out some videos. Uh, follow us on some stuff. Uh, you should also come check out our merch store. Uh, that's a T Public. Uh, you can just search for Big Dumb Monsters, and we have our own storefront there. Yeah. Um, and I believe that is it for our socials. That is it. So we're going to leave you with our weekly words of wisdom. Don't let ghoulies eat your ass. And never sleep in a deathbed. Bye-bye. <laughs>